and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frozen Challengers. It's going to be our first deck of the day. Kind of call this Demacia Day. Planning on playing four Demacia decks today, different variants and seeing which one we like the most. This one is the only one that's not Vanguard Bannerman and therefore not very heavy Demacia. This is uh, pairing our challenger cards like Fiora, Lauren Protégé <clears throat> with Freljord because of the, um, the Frostbite cards, pairing challenger with Frostbite. And then of course that really helps with Rhymefang Wolf. But, you know, trying to put Ash into like a, a mid-range aggressive deck Ash is just such a strong champion that we want to try to find a home for it. The problem with these Frostbite cards, though, are they're not as good against uh, control decks that aren't really playing creatures. So we'll kind of see how, you know, see how it goes. But as far as, like, the decks playing creatures, we can, can hopefully control the combat step well enough to um, win those ones. We played this deck one other time, and since then uh, we didn't did not have elixir of irons. So I'll put all of those in here and kind of trim down the top end. You know, so I'm making it more aggressive. But the reason for elixir of irons is this is a good spell against um, decks that aren't really playing creatures, where we can use elixir of iron to protect our um, creatures against removal spells. That's the point of that. But I'm excited about this one. Uh, it's been wanting to get to this for the last couple of days just haven't been feeling the best but feeling a little better today let's go through ranks and let's uh, play a bunch of games with Demacia yeah Kitty Dex 30 the the emotes changed the the first part of the emote it's not TSMTG anymore I got rid of that MTG and so it's H tie now for Hawk tie. You're typing them out. All right, good looking hand. Do we want the harsh winds right away? So I spend one mana turn one, spend one mana turn two, so I have one extra mana, play this. Turn four, I'll have the one extra mana and the four mana, so I'll have five mana, so I won't be able to play Harsh Winds. So I think because of that, we'll just get rid of it. Lady Elise, where are you? No, 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 no! So we drew the single combat. So both of our both of our next two creatures that we draw are going to get that plus two plus two. I follow you anywhere. I know just the place. They would fall by my blade. Stay away from my pets. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to have here that would protect Elise with Fiora, but obviously they have something because they don't mind attacking into Fiora. So like they're attacking a 2-3 into a 3-3, so obviously they have something. Just not really exactly sure what it would be. Now you've gone. Set it. As the arrow flies. Could be a frostbite spell. Oh, yeah. You have to 
basically sacrificing this fleet feather tracker. Okay, it is Mark of the Isles. Darn. <clears throat> That's a risky thing of doing all that without having protection. But I think we'll be fine. We got... We got Fiora with a couple of good tricks. Oh, I, really, I was thinking like Black Spear, that would have been really bad. What was the point of that? This will be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like whoops. Let me change into something more comfortable. Got your back. Fiora's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Just might as well trade before before they play another Iceborne Legacy and these things are even bigger. Alright, so we just need to kill one more creature with Fiora. We have an elixir and a brittle steel and a single combat. This would be cool. They would have saved that elixir of iron. Frozen Challengers picks up the first win of the day. You are still pretty good. Still a pretty good card. I think our chances of leveling up here. I think we're gonna. Ha I think we got some some good decks today. I think we got good chances for leveling up. I would just like this hand. Don't have a one drop. Warships is a good draw. Spell that. A fight to cook it. A fight to cook it. 
Playing Laurent. Protégé instead of Fiora because uh, it's harder to kill with the four toughness. No one goes hungry. Yeah, that's, that's that's a good point. Primary Edict is that that's probably a really good matchup for us. Just in general. I don't think they'll be able to kill Ash. I'll be sad if they do. Oh, yeah. The card. Card's pretty good. Pretty decent draw. The chains, they never stop. Hmm. <clears throat> of course, I really don't want them to have Ruination. Glimpse Beyond. That's not so bad. Um, I don't know if I should respond with the single combat. Keep them from drawing two cards. I don't think so. I think I'll let them draw two. I could really be talked into either way, though, of playing single combat or not. The What not playing it allows me to do is they play another karma or a rekindler that brings back karma either way we can now kill karma with the single combat this will be quick If they ruination, I can refill the battlefield. All right, so I'll block this thing and give my blocker a barrier so that. Um, 
so that they don't gain life? Maybe that's not worth it. That's fine. They can, of course, they can use a spell to remove the barrier. That's why I want to block with my worst creature, which the Laurent Protege is my worst creature right now. I still have the mana to play everything in my hand. I can still, even, even if they do remove the barrier, they gain the five life. My Protege dies. I can still play my other three creatures, especially how they can't uh, Ruination now. Okay, all in on this attack. To the base. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Hey, Vidul. Hello. Welcome to the channel. I need some good stuff to get out of this. Let's see what they got. I don't have to really be worried. I know I didn't pump this up for, as far as Withering Whale goes, but I don't have to be worried that, too worried about Withering Whale. Yeah, that keeps them alive. Yeah, it keeps them alive. Well, I guess now I wish I would have pumped that up because of the Grasp. And put them down to one. Still alive. Heart and mind as one. Where there is life, there is hope. I shouldn't just pass. I should. I should be playing something. Yeah, I should. I should be playing stuff. I should be flooding the board again. Yeah, I shouldn't have passed. Yeah, Karma decks can definitely heal. Yeah, they can heal a crazy amount. I needed to, like, because they, they were, they had eight mana, so they couldn't ruination, so I needed to just, I needed to fill the battlefield again and get more, like, this is not enough damage for what Karma can do. But it's like, 
I can't play stuff. Pre I can't play my creatures pre-combat, even though they're likely just going to have like these spells to keep them alive. Because if they do have ruination, then I just get really blown out by that. Okay, so they're going to gain six, seven, eight. This go put some so plus the one nine. I have seven damage here. So because I can save, I can either save War Chefs or save the Rhymefang Wolf, and save one or the other. And obviously, it seems like I need to save the the Rhymefang Wolf. Okay, got to get rid of Karma. Not a bad draw. They have 13 mana, so I need them to spend five of it again and get underneath Ruination. It's not really even a good enough attack right now with just this. Got your back. Ouch. Okay. Yep, this is over. You're covered. Yeah, we've killed uh, we've killed three karmas. We killed Two regular ones and, and a rekindlered karma. But doesn't matter too much with us being pretty dead. At this point.
Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm... I give up. We're one and one now. I really need to throw out a lot more stuff that one turn. Um, whenever I passed, whenever I talked about it, when I talk, said that I shouldn't have passed right then, right afterwards. Nice, Rex. You said with your Karma Brew, but you're using Demacy and PNZ, but Karma's in Ionia. Did you mean Ionia over one of those, or did you mean Lux, not Karma? Well, Brittle Steel, that last match, as you saw, we never used Brittle Steel. It's just not any good against that Karma deck. It should be good against the Zed deck, though. Okay, yeah, your Lux deck. That makes sense. <laughs> Cool, hope it keeps going pretty good for you. By my honor, you must die. I am the blade in the darkness. Strike quickly, strike deftly. So yeah, now I can't Brittle Steal it anymore. I'm actually kind of fine trading there and making them use one of their tricks. Now if they try attacking with Zed, I get to Flash Freeze. And if they do something else, then I get to Brittle Steal or the other way around. Huh. Wonder if I pass, I wonder if they just pass back. They may, and then just not attack. That would be pretty bad for me. Me playing nothing. Let's play Laurent. So I don't just waste all my mana that turn. I will unite the frail yard. That's nice of you. Swiftly now. For the honor I demand Yeah, that's still good though. That's still good, Rex. Doing good. All these birdies.
I think I'm just gonna save nine save nine life with this harsh winds. It's a lot of life. And now we'll recast Ash here. Your move. Let them so. Oh God. You call me the boss. Fair. Let's take out these elusive units, or at least try to. Supposed to be a challenge. No backing down. So Fiora's killed one enemy so far. Two for Fiora. Yeah, <clears throat> I think they're in a lot of trouble. So that's going to make a zero power thing, which is going to be that. And so we'll have this kill the zero power thing. We're going to have this. Try to kill this. We'll just attack with the 4-3. And I'll save the 5-1. Take this out. I'll lead us to victory. Yeah, this is Owl City Beautiful Times. Looking for things. The time is right. Strike now. Is that Battle Fury? Card's crazy. Ooh, a Cythria. The Order rewards its faithful. Show them what we're made of. 
Another victory for House Laurent. All right, two and one. That was a really good showing for our deck. I feel like my opponent had, you know, really good hand and everything, and that's that's a real good deck that they have, like with the Elusive deck, and we can show how this deck gets to dominate combat with all those challengers and um, and frostbite cards and stuff, just combining all of that together. But the the spooky karma. This is gonna be maybe one of our toughest matchups that we lost to just a little bit ago. I also feel like I made some mistakes there in that game. This one's gonna be a little tough too. I'll get rid of the tracker with I already I already have one one drop. I'm gonna keep the omen hawk because I, I feel like the sizing could be very important with them gonna be a remove with them being a removal heavy deck. So the sizing of these next two creatures. Hey Revoki. Howdy. You name it, I'll nick it. That Omen Hawk is a great draw. We get to just trade, get to trade here. Um, I don't really want to. We don't need to save it. It's all good. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. That is awesome. Strike quickly or go. <laughs> yep. Yep. Every every creature has haste, every creature has vigilance. They just basically attacks in rows. There's no double blocking. Um Everything has haste, everything has vigilance. Um, a turn, you know, like turn, this is turn four. They're the attacker this turn. They have the attack token over here, but turns are, they are um, shared. It's like they play a spell. Now I get to play a spell. And so you get to play, you know, it's not just like you have a turn, so you get to play, you know, minions um, and stuff. And if it's not your turn, you don't get to. Turns are shared. All right, so if I play Ash, so I have six total mana because I have the one extra spell mana. If you don't, if you don't use all of your mana during a turn, you can bank up to three of it later. But you can only use that for spells, not for minions. So I wanted to play this so I could have single combat available because this this could have been a turn they could have had Heimerdinger. There's, they're still up a card after all this. Entropy, a never ending cycle. Uh, I I shouldn't be playing that. I should be playing the Swiftwing Lancer first because of Elixir of Iron. Uh, and that too. I realized like right after I played that, I realized that I should be playing the Lancer first. Like right after I played that. Yeah, that was a mistake. We'll see if they can protect Timerdinger now. This is this is the card their entire deck's built around. Like that is the card. Yep, they do. <laughs> yeah, pick up, pick up the pieces. This is a good song. This isn't the. Uh, there's like a 16 or 17 minute live version. It's not that. Hey WQ.
and this game is my fault if I would have just played my 5-4 the whenever I tried it if I would have played the 5-4 first and then single combat combated the Heimerdinger they would not have been able to save it and now that I didn't they just get all this stuff and this is looking pretty bad for us that was a big mistake yeah, I'm going to try out some Bannerman Zed. I made a, made a few changes to the cards that I like and everything from just, like, the generic stock list. Did that with a few things. Am I frozen? Is this frozen? Are y'all... Frozen in chat? I feel like this is this is frozen. Streams okay? Okay. Yeah, a couple of places. Arrow, you can find uh, top decks, exact list. That's that's all my decks there. If you click on the left hand, if you go to the left hand side of that uh, link, you go to the left hand side of that link. There's a meta decks down at the bottom. Another site is just decksofrunterra.com. That works pretty well, too. I think you're I think you're a little behind Rex. But yeah, we got it. So How do I want to do this now? So I want Stop. I didn't even know they had three mana left. Didn't they just have two mana? Uh, we could just never kill Heimerdinger. Yeah, it was two mana from progress day. Dinger is so broken. Bleh. But I mean, obviously, this was my fault for not playing the 5 4 before. I guess it won't count as a loss yet, even though this is basically a loss. Still have four mana. So yeah, the Karma Control, the Heimerdinger Control, those are our two losses so far. Those control decks. They can be tough matchups, and 
both both matchups I made a mistake and I don't think you can make mistakes in those matchups. Both times I I made a, a critical mistake. We don't have that. We're not afforded that ability to make mistakes in those kind of games. So the problem with Laura and Protégé, and maybe I should have, like, I got rid of the, so I got rid of, like, I, I wanted to get rid of one of those two, three drops, either Protégé or the Wolf. I got rid of the Wolf because we didn't, you know, have any Frostbite stuff, and if they just had, like, smaller spiders, like that thing, I'd much rather have Protégé than, than Wolf for that. Um... In grace, beauty in the blade. But the problem with Protege is Protege doesn't kill Elise. Can't stop that thing. No closer. Yep. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a few champions like you know, some of those more expensive control champions, if you leave them alive, they are absurd. You know, Lux, Karma, Heimerdinger. Those ones. She can. Okay. I hope they're done. I hope they're done. Sorry about that. That's a doorbell. The dogs are going crazy. Um, no, I don't have any company. That was a, a package I ordered for. I need one more dog bed for the dogs. They each like having their own dog bed in here, but then I need one for the living room also. And so I've been just carrying one back and forth. And so I got another little dog bed for Harvey for the living room. And so that's what that was. It's was supposed to be delivered today, so. So yeah, I'm sure that's 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 what, that's what that was, but you know, doorbell dogs. This will not take long. This is my opponent. Seem like perfectly good trades. I 
So we're attacking for 12. All right. It's not it's not lethal if I play repost. So we'll just take whatever this gives us. Okay. Take a Vanguard cavalry. I'm not going to play it. That's that's enough creature. I mean, I, I honestly probably shouldn't even be playing the Omen Hawk because of ruination. But I just played the Omen Hawk because it can. Um, Alright, well, they're not ruinationing. The answer lies within. Yeah, it's the best possible card. So it's going to gain him six life. Not attacking for lethal anymore. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't even think about the wolf dying. Ugh. Man, just Karma and Heimerdinger. These these two cards, these are our downfall. Those vengeances were also very good, but still. Strike without worry. Not a good draw. Alright, can we just not play against Karma or Heimerdinger, or, I don't know, gotta be better. feel pretty good against play playing against everything else. I think this deck can be really strong against everything else. Hopefully we don't play against 60% Karma or Heimerdinger, though. All right. We'll play against Zed Fiora. We'll take our chances here.
Standalone. They follow the A delicious challenge. Eat up, friend. Hmm. If they want to keep Zed alive, they have to, like, you know, have this spell mana to keep Zed alive. Because we can have War Chef's pump. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Oh, or they just have that. That keeps Zed alive also. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Honor guide me. Can't fight on an empty stomach. <sighs> this is going to be problematic. Need one of these two to be a brittle, brittle steel. Um, my skill is unrivaled. Feels like judgment. Feels like judgment. I guess judgment I can I can actually wait. I can actually have lethal through judgment because I forgot about the protege staying alive. If if they judgment the Fiora, crap. If they judgment the Zed. I don't know why I was thinking them judgmenting the Fiora. Yeah, they're just gonna judgment the Zed. That was dumb of me. To attack all out like that. I was just in my mind I was just thinking judgment Fiora whenever I was doing math. And then, obviously, right after I make the attacks, I realize they're just going to judge at the Zed, and then, yeah, it's too late. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, a great way to survive that anyway with Judgment Zed. It's probably not. That was just pretty perfect, especially that Laurent, that Laurent Blade Keeper. Like, that was perfect. That was the perfect card to have. So, like, Zed stand over, like... They just had everything perfect. GG's. That's kind of what it takes to beat our deck, though, with another creature deck. I don't want that. We'll get rid of the single combat. A real battle. 
Yep, no fake battles over here. Just real battles. That is the dream opening that we just had here. They play one drop, you have turn one tracker, and then protector to barrier it on turn two. This is the dream, turn one, turn two, and get to attack on turn two. Hey, Yud. This Doing good. Mercy. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's Ionia. Yeah. You are correct. shadows oh wait I don't have I don't know the mana for the elixir of iron Thanks. Yeah, I'm starting. To, yeah, I'm starting to do better. Ooh, that's a good one. Today we turn the tide of war. Yeah, that'll help turn the tide of war. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to play all four decks today. That's my plan. Hey, Boo. Welcome. Strength and grace. All right, so 10 mana. I think I'm just going to pass. Oh, what a great card. Ouch. That's pretty great. Well, they took the wrong card. The card they should have taken. Um, eleven. Guess you block here. The new Animal Crossing's really good. Cool. I liked the GameCube version. 
a long time ago. You've never played the Animal Crossings? Oh my gosh, that's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah, got him. Basically, you you kind of like, basically, it's just about like building, like the first one was about like building a town and you just kind of go around and, um, you know, collect, like you just collect fruit, collect wood, like that kind of stuff. And, and, uh, then you and you trade it and you just kind of do jobs from like the other and like uh from other characters and you invite them into your town and you just kind of build up your your house and that kind of stuff and it's it was all on it's all on like a the same clock that we have here you know it's so like if it's you know three o'clock your time it's three o'clock in, in animal crossing and so on and so like there's a lot of things that you know like it's a little different in the in the day or at night and uh you know daily you know like the the fruit trees will respawn daily and all that kind of stuff yep this is frozen challengers you see on the top left hand that's where the carrot right here that's what we're playing currently And just a real wholesome game. Well, thank you, WQ. All right, yeah, I will. What you looking for? Punk pit pocket. I have been uh, talking it over and and uh, thinking about doing it. You know, variety stream once or maybe twice a week. Would Animal Crossing be a game y'all like me to see? Y'all like me to see me play? I mean, it's. I'm not sure how good of a game that is viewing and everything. You know, it's not really a. You know, starting, ending kind of game. You're covered. But it's a nice little cute game. Feel the sizzle. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Other card games like Shadowverse and stuff. I feel like I feel like card games are are something you really have to get engrossed in and play a whole lot to you know really know very well and, and master and that kind of stuff. I was thinking like once once or twice a week play just kind of other games. Um, like I wanted to. Hey, there we go. Double WQ getting that. Tier one resub in. Where are my hype boats at? There they are. Um, our first of the day. Getting stuff like there's a new Ori and Will of the Wisps. Is that the name of the game? They would fall by my blade. Yeah, exactly, Yellow Snappers. That's what it would be. It would just be about, yeah, talk about stuff and chill. 
Yeah, I said Ori's a great platformer. Yeah, like that kind of stuff. What would y'all think of, of taking one, you know, one, maybe two days a week off of Legends of Runeterra and, and just kind of playing other games like that and chilling? You know, just do chill streams. Incorporating those kind of things to YouTube is also not the easiest. No one goes hungry. Pete says it sounds good. Animal Crossing would be good. Yeah, because so, so like right like right now there's just a couple of games that just released and so it's For doing those kind of streams. It's also good to play games right after they release because that's whenever um, You have the most people You know watching the games right after they release. So yeah, there's like there's Animal Crossing um, And and Ori Both of those just came out. So I kind of want to I want to play both of those Kitty Dexterity, you're using the, the wrong emote. Those aren't... You have the wrong prefix there. It's just a bunch of letters now. You, got, you have to use the new emote. The, it starts H-TIE, not T-S-M-T-G. Like that. Okay, so they're at eight. So basically they need like two Withering whales, right? Well, that's pretty good. So just one withering whale, so only this thing dies, and then that thing dies. So they gain six, they go to 14. I guess that's all that shows. Right now they're going to five. Three, four. So that's only four total damage. So I do that on that thing. That should be good. And now I'll put it on this thing. Now that thing's alive. And this will be game. All right, we're coming back. We're four and four. Bunch of wild WoW cards, wild WoW capsule. All right, frozen challengers. Here we go.
All right, so we're going to just keep the two, three, four. Like, is Bright Seal Protector good enough? Do I even keep Ash? Yeah, we we'll probably keep Ash. Ooh, nice, good. So we want we want that one drop. This is a very aggressive deck. You won't get past me. Fairly aggressive deck, I suppose. If they just attack right now, I block. If they play something else, I get to play the protector, which makes it their attack pretty poor. First big mission. Oh, yeah, my opponent is swim. I, d I didn't notice whatsoever. I didn't look at who my opponent was. Um. By my honor, you must die. Swim is the biggest Legends of Runeterra player. Yep, very aggressive deck. Draven Darius. It's possible I don't actually want to play Ash this turn just so I can have all the mana for all these tricks and stuff. A bunch of small creatures like this is exactly what you want to play against with Fiora, so we, we need to just keep this Fiora alive. One mana. I will Basically looking at like Blade's Edge. It's like my only punishment for playing the Ash. Getting that thing out of here. It's all overwhelming and stuff. You know, it wasn't it wasn't Fiora getting a kill with single combat, but I think it's still worth it. So there's, of course, Spinning Axe. Could use Spinning Axe on this. 
give it one power, but, but I have Elixir of Iron, so we're all good there. Feeling pretty good about it. No Eastwood. So I'm guessing that's wanting to get me down to ten for Darius. That would be my guess. Gotta play another creature, otherwise I have the, the 10 lethal. They will bleed for Noxus. I have my order. For the honor of House Luxrun. Still looking pretty good for us. Okay, so this game has kind of shown how we can, how our deck is just so good against creatures. Like, unit battles against other units. All right, Fiora only needs a one more kill. My axe is ready. Could get us. I mean, if they have like a whole bunch of like pump spells for the Darius, need like uh, they have three mana though. I don't. I don't think it can in three mana. Yeah, this deck could definitely have one judgment in it. Strike without worry. Puts me at six. I should use Elixir of Iron because double. Uh, this is this is bad. This is bad. I should I should use Elixir of Iron. I should go to four. I. This is me going to four. Ugh, I need to, yeah. I need to just use both these Elixir of Irons. I need to just use them both. I don't want to just die to, um. You know, like double Mystic Shot or Mystic Shot plus. Um, get excited or double get excited. Yeah, I, I earlier showed use those. Nope, those elixir of irons. All right, so thank because that's a spell, I get to use these now. All right, so double get excited still kills me, but you can't have double get excited with three cards. All right, five and four. We're coming back. We're playing against a lot of other creature decks. Swiftly now. Doing a lot better now. Yeah, I guess Decimate I didn't have to worry about because, yeah. Um, didn't have to worry about Decimate because we got to go straight into attacks. And he only had the three mana. I know, didn't get the cool Fiora animation. So basically we've we've struggled against Karma control and Heimerdinger control, but all these other aggro and mid-range decks, all of those we've done very well against. This is kind of an awkward hand. Let's get rid of this elixir of iron. Do I want to just keep all this? Yeah, but it's Starts a little late. Okay, that's better. I 
Thanks, WQ. <clears throat> Okay, had had okay. He did have a decimate, cause he yeah with decimate, cause yeah he didn't have the mana Come that turn, so would have had to would have had to be able to cast it pre combat on my turn, and that's just not really an option. You dare. That a wolf or a dog? Kind of like a dog. <laughs> yeah, frenzied skitter is good. Hey, Elvis. Yeah, Skitter is on their, their watch list because, yeah, Skitter is absolutely amazing. It's on their watch list. Yeah, the buff and the nerf. It's quite good. Sounds of prayer. You think Skitter is going to be a 4-drop? I could see it just doing the give other allied spiders plus 1 plus 0 this round and not doing the enemy minus 1 minus 0. It's really, that's that's the great part about Skitter is the enemy minus 1 minus 0. You're struggling against Karma Control with Darius Elise Aggro. What do you think beats Karma? Honestly, that's what I'd kind of say is that, but I guess you yeah, have like the the withering whales are really difficult. Um, Taste the glory. Yeah, like that's 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 what is what you need against Karma is you have fast consistent stuff. Um, maybe like if you're not playing like Black Spear, maybe that's like a removal spell you want to be playing. Oh wait, I just I just didn't even play my War chefs last round, did I? I had the I had like the extra man to play War chefs after combat, didn't I? And I just didn't do it. These old eyes still see far and clear. Swiftly now. <laughs> Eat up, friend. Look out for Reavers. Glad that they have to act first. I like that. It's our first thing that we've frostbitten.
Yeah, maybe, yeah, Black Spear was pretty good. You know, ju did just turn into six to three mana, sorry. But maybe having cards that kill Karma isn't the way to go. I do like Transfusion in, in uh, maybe, maybe that's a card that you're not playing to play in that kind of deck where you can use it as a pump spell to help get over, you know, a Withering Whale or a Grasp the Undying or that kind of stuff. Does it have chump blocks early? Definitely has a lot of the, the healing and stuff. They have a couple of three drops that can chump block, but they're for the most part they're not doing too much chump blocking. Ouch. Ouch. This combination with Elise. Got to get that Elise out of here. Still think that's a dog. Yeah, Shadow Assassin. That's the name of that card I was trying to think of. Ash to flip. Dang. They have had a hand. They have had a hand. Looks like we may be losing to our Spider Queen and like the Iceborne Legacy Spider deck. That's what it looks like here.
Okay, let's see. Just, you know, using full cards on just, like, spider tokens, they just get so many spider tokens. This really isn't great. The reason why they didn't attack with everything is because they had to be worried about judgment. Because I could have just Fiora judgment and kill them. It was a good, good play not to attack with everything. And... One and two. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be using the second frostbite. I should probably just be using one and block here and take eight so that my second one can protect Ash. Okay. All right, so then. Then I'll go with Rad then, so to overwhelm be something to help against. They're out there. I'll spot them. <laughs> the weakest card in my deck. As the arrow flies. I can't think of any way that I can win this. If I just didn't use that other Frostbite, I'd be able to protect Ash. Show me a target. All right, so we ended up 500 with the Frozen Challengers. Honestly, a little disappointing. I thought that we were going to be doing better. We had a couple of those losses, you know, like our first two against that Heimerdinger and the Karma deck that I think we had a lot better chance to win that I made I made the big mistakes in both of those games. Um, I mean, there were little mistakes, but there were little mistakes that cost me. Um, as we talked about before, but overall, had a, definitely had a really good record against other creature decks, even with, you know, we lost a couple, but, um, you know, I think we were what, like 5-2 and two against creature decks and just 0-3 against the Karma, Heimerdinger decks. But one time each against Karma and Heimerdinger, I made those mistakes. Maybe, maybe we could have gone 1-1, one and, one, and then this is a 6-4, and that's a lot better. Um... <clears throat> Pretty good deck, though. We could maybe fit, like, uh, somebody asked, could we fit a Judgment in here? Maybe. Could maybe fit a Judgment in here. Um, the Omen Hawks are hit or miss. Great to have on turn one. But as we saw, they're not so great to draw in the late game. Like, this is the kind of, this, this deck, like, we're really trying to curve out. And... Uh, win games pretty fast. We don't want to play a super long game because we just don't have the card advantage. Um, we're just trying to be brutally efficient and, um, you know, have all these combat tricks like help us win com like the combats that help us win the game, you know, fairly quickly, and not play a super late game. But I like it. 
All right, so this is our first version of Demacia for the day. We got, like, as you see up here, we got four different Demacia versions today. It's Demacia Day. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave a comment. The likes and comments always help the YouTube channel. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Frozen Challengers, and I'll see you for the next video.